In addition to the age-based and shooting style categories that most will compete in, in a typical match, SAS offers two costume-based shooting categories. Let's take a look at the B-Western category requirements this week on the firing line. For many, their favorite cowboys were heroes of the silver screen. Stars like Roy Rogers, Gene Autry, and Hopalong Cassidy were national sensations as Hollywood churned out many of these low-budget commercial motion pictures starting in the late 1920s until being phased out by cheap horror and sci-fi movies in the 1950s. The regulations that we're talking about today only apply to a small subset of shooters at any given SAS match. Those who choose to shoot in the costume category be Western. Match directors may further decide to divide the B-Western category with a ladies' division. But as a reminder, there are no men's divisions, and ladies are free to choose which category they prefer to shoot. It is important to note that anyone can dress and shoot following the requirements of these special categories in any aged base or shooting style category for which they qualify. But for those who want to dress up and shoot irons like Gene and Roy, SAS recognizes the B-Western category separately as a way to allow participants to compete with others who choose to follow the more restrictive rules that come with the category. The requirements for B-Western actually encompass more than just costuming regulations. They can be broken out into firearm and costuming requirements. In order to shoot in the B-Western category, competitors must adhere to the following firearms restrictions. Any SAS legal ammunition may be used. Any main match revolver may be used. Revolvers may be shot in any SAS legal shooting style at the shooter's discretion. This includes changing shooting style mid-stage. Any SAS legal rifle of 1880 or later design or a replica thereof, for example, a Burgess Lightning Rifle, 1892-1894 Winchester, or Marlin. Any SAS legal shotgun may be used. While there are few firearms restrictions in the B-Western category, they are easily distinguishable from everyone else by their costuming. As the old saying goes, you'd be surprised to know how much it costs to look this cheap. In order to shoot in the B-Western category, competitors must adhere to the following costuming requirements. Busket arrow holster rigs or drop holster rigs are required. All revolvers must be carried below the top of the gun belt. All belt and holster rigs must be embellished. Fancy stitching, conchos, spots, or tooling. No shoulder rigs allowed. Boots are required and must be of traditional design and embellished with fancy stitching, multicolor fancy design, conchos, or spots. Soles must be non-grip enhancing, i.e. no lug soles. Western spurs with rowels and spur straps are required for men. Lace-up boots and moccasins are not allowed. No straw or palm leaf hats allowed. Hats must be worn and must be felt hats only. Hats are required to be worn on the head and not hanging by a stampede string around the neck or anywhere else. Pants must be jeans, ranch pants, or pants with flap over the rear pocket, keystone belt loops, and or piping or fringe. Ladies may wear dresses, skirts, or split riding skirts. Pants must be worn with a belt. Pants suspenders are not allowed. After all, how can you trust a man that wears both a belt and suspenders? Man can't even trust his own pants. Shirts must be of the B-Western style with snap buttons or any of the following. Smiley pockets, embroidery, appliques, fringe, different colored yokes, Shield shirts are allowed if the shield slash bib has piping or embroidery. All costumes are expected to be fancy and flashy. 
The Bee Western costuming must be worn during the entire match and award ceremony, with the exception of evening formal occasions. Competitors must incorporate at least one of the following items into their costuming. Gloves or gauntlets. Scarves with slides or tied around the neck or bolo tie. Coat. Vest. Chaps. Cuffs. Costuming that depicts leading role characters in B-Western movies are allowed as long as the costume is complete with all accessories, but the costuming must still adhere to the boot, leather, spur, hat, and firearm requirements. John Wayne, Spaghetti Western, and Townsperson characters are not acceptable. It is important to note that when shooting in costume categories, points are not added or subtracted to your score based on your outfit. You are only required to meet the specifications for the category as outlined in the shooter's handbook. And your score is solely based on your time and penalties associated with shooting the courses of fire. So, if you want to be a cowboy, stealing young girls' hearts just like Gene and Roy, while you don't have to learn how to rope and ride, you do need to strap on your six-shooter and head on over to the range, where I'll see you next time on the firing line.